Hello guys, how are you doing today? And you know, I came up with a problem uh, a, a couple of days ago. My laptop has Windows 10 and it also always downloaded some patches and I always, also have Diablo 3 there and I play it from time to time there and when I'm on a couch. <laughs> so uh, I started, uh, you know, the battle net and you know, press click to play Diablo 3 and basically nothing happened and I was like what the fuck what's going on I played it you know some time ago and I can remember absolutely it's been working fine and then out of uh, without a reason I just stopped playing stopped playing on Windows 10 and I started to search for a solution to fix that problem and the strange thing is that uh, the process launched so I could see the process of Diablo 3 here. Uh, it's, it was obvious, obviously, it had been, uh, you know, there. Uh, like this one. But uh, it just, the game just didn't start. So, um, what happened is that um, I pressed to play and then the splash screen appears uh, like it's supposed to load. And then it just didn't launch at all. So and I was like, "What the fuck? What's going? On? What's going on, guys?" So I started reading and I found the solution for that. So if Diablo 3 is not launching on Windows 10 for you, this may be the solution for you. It's really easy. No need to uninstall, reinstall drivers and shit and everything else. So basically, the problem is the is, the, is in the Battle.net launcher. All you need to do guys is you press uh, the settings, you go to the streaming and you just disable it. Yeah, and it's done. And now when you press to play, it basically starts, it basically starts guys. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a very, very strange fix for the Windows 10 problem. It looks like, you know, uh, it recently recently launched a feature in uh, to stream uh, the, your game on Facebook. There's a call the uh, Blizzard Streaming. Uh, it was called, but it looks like that feature it overrides something and uh, the Diablo interface and maybe the Diablo executable it overrides it in some way and it just you know suppresses it and it just doesn't start. So, but when we disable the feature, it absolutely starts no problem. So that's an easy fix. Uh, disable streaming and Diablo 3 will start on Windows 10, guys. That's a small fix. I'm writing this. I'm writing this video just for the guys that who are already googling that with the solution and trying to find it on the internet. Uh, hopefully, you will stumble upon my video and uh, it will fix it for you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks.